two of the ULA T Detox program. Congratulations, you made it to day two and you get a post. Yes, day two, I made it and you can keep moving through the detox. Today you're in day two of the reprogramming phase. This can be one of the more difficult phases to you to work through, especially if you're super addicted to highly caffeinated beverages like energy, drinks, monsters, Red Bulls, or you've got a major coffee addiction that you are trying to kick and kick it with tea, you're going to go through some issues over the next two, three days. This could be a really tough day for you. This is gonna be your life-saving force. This literally will help you through exactly what you're going through. And trust me, I know, and Dr. Troy knows, Dr. Troy, 18-year energy drink addiction. I'm not talking about the Snap the Monster drink. I'm talking about the big oil can monster that you crack on top and the fizz comes out and he would smell it and drink like total addict. It was actually kind of embarrassing hanging out with him. I'm talking about that and I'm talking about a coffee addiction and I can make fun of myself here now. Eight to 12 shots of espresso a day before I ran through my detox and said, okay, enough is enough. Now we know coffee is better than energy drink. Coffee has a lot of health benefits, but I wanna break down and teach you the difference between coffee and tea and how much better this will be for you as we work through today. Today, like I said, will be one of those hard days for you to get through, hang in there, drink a lot of energy tea. Every time when people say, how much energy tea do I need? Every time you feel like you're getting symptoms of a headache, you're getting sweats, you're getting blurred vision, get a little natural caffeine from the energy drink. Now, if you are working on purely a sugar detox and not a high caffeine detox from coffee or energy drinks, you might wanna just do one energy tea that day add a little stevia, that's gonna help you out, or little bits of honey. Honey has a lot of sugar in it as well, it's more of a natural honey, but it still has sugar in it. But a little stevia in here, and that'll help you with those cravings. So when you're feeling like you're getting that craving, add a one or two packs of stevia to an energy tea and drink that. If you are having caffeine-related addiction reprogramming issues, then you're gonna to wanna to stay a little higher in the energy tea. This black tea, which is personally my favorite, this black tea, is a Darjeeling tea from the Himalayas. We went and sourced the best black tea out there on the planet. It's a higher caffeine tea, but it also has a longer duration of a caffeine, natural caffeine into your body. So let me explain the difference with coffee and tea since I was a high coffee drinker. So number one, this is what happened to me. On book tour, bus, book signings, Barnes & Noble, Barnes & Noble, radio, TV, it got crazy. Two books out, every Barnes & Noble in the country, airports, book signings everywhere, Costco's, and we're on this 1970s B-Dub bus, traveling across the country, collecting dreams, layers and layers of dreams, your dreams to change the world of the world, and going book signing to book signing, radio station to radio station, TV station to TV station. Troy's pounding energy drinks, I'm pounding coffee and espresso. And here is the one thing that happened to me, is Coffee was a fun thing for me. It was, it was something I enjoyed. I love coffee shops, I love the smell of it, still do today. Um, but it became an issue where I would literally be laying on the floor holding my stomach because I started getting an ulcer. And an ulcer comes from the high acidity levels in coffee, and that's the difference between coffee and tea. When I started researching what to do for an ulcer, this is, we're going back a year, a year and a half, two years ago. When I started researching what do you do for an ulcer, one of the number one things recommended was tea. And I'm like, okay, one of the things you need to get rid of if you have an ulcer or any kind of stomach issues is coffee. One of the things you should switch to is tea. And that got me thinking right away as I started to research more and more of the benefits of tea because I've always been a tea drinker and a coffee drinker, definitely more coffee. And then I started switching to drinking more tea because of health benefits. There, you can arguably say, this is, this is proven over and over, that your gut health your gut health, your stomach, and your intestinal health has so much to do with your overall health of your body. If the acidity in here causes ulcers, causes literally start to eat through the lining of your stomach, eat through the lining of your stomach, how healthy can you be? How healthy can your body be? How easily can you absorb the nutrients if your gut health, your intestinal health is all jacked up? This is specifically designed, like God designed this, black tea, he designed that to help with gut health, help speed up metabolism, help give you that natural caffeine. Caffeine is very, very healthy and low levels as a stimulant to open up your brain, to have you see more clearly, to make you more productive, but there's different levels of caffeine. So the number one thing, if you are a coffee addict, understand the acidity level in coffee and the gut and intestinal health that coffee 
has or destruction on your body versus tea. So that was easy for me. I started to go, okay, I'm going more towards a black tea. Number two, caffeine. Here's caffeine in a coffee. Boom, and then it drops. You get a caffeine rush, you get the jitters, you get coffee jitters, whatever it is, and then you crash, and then you need another coffee. The amazing part about caffeine and tea, and you'll notice this as you start to work through the peppermint rush tea, the energy tea, is that you'll have sustained energy for longer periods of time. Instead of a spike and a crash, you'll have sustained energy for longer periods of time. When you start to feel, you're not gonna feel a crash, when you start to feel just, man, I could use a little more energy or I'm starting to get like a slight headache or a little foggy vision, get working on that. The next thing is purely cost. The cost of coffee, five, six bucks a day through your Starbucks or your local coffee shop adds up. If you go $5 in a year, you're spending almost $2,000 in coffee. So the hidden cost and for all you sugar addicts out there like myself, the hidden sugar that sits inside coffee. When you go get a latte, when you go get a frappuccino, when you go get a double mocha, caramel, whatever it is, caramel salted macchiato, there is 30, 50, 60, 70, up to 80 grams of sugar in some of those drinks. Here is how I got through my coffee addiction. Simply this, coffee, I mixed it with one, not one to two, one drop of peppermint essential oil. Again, I use Vitality from Young Living, one drop of essential oil in there, and then I would wait, this is a timer, I would wait five minutes, one minute, three minute, five minutes. Give five minutes of your tea to steep, and you can easily do that just with a phone, set a timer, but five minutes will pull out the majority of the caffeine that's in this bag. And then, especially with the peppermint in it, be careful when you start to drink it because they'll start to burn the eyes. But think of the energy that you will get from combining one of the highest quality black teas on the planet, Darjeeling black tea from the Himalayas. You combine that with some peppermint essential oil to support that process, it's gonna help you so much. And it'll help you get through today, which is day two. So if you're getting rid of coffee, switching over to tea, do this. One thing that can help you too so much, take this, put a couple packets of stevia in there. If you are a latte fanatic and you are like an iced, like frappuccino drinker, a uh, couple packets of stevia, put a little milk in there, put a little cream in there. The other thing you can do is I use a high protein, low carb, low sugar milk. I'll put that in there and also what I'll do is I'll pour this over ice. So you can pour this over ice if you're used to ice drinks. Pour it over ice, put your milk in there first, put your ice in there, let the tea cool down a little bit. I will make mine, put it in the fridge, go shower, all that stuff. Come out and I'll pour the tea right into the iced milk that I have in my fridge. Throw a straw in it and it becomes your daily little frappuccino kick, your iced coffee kick. So remember that as a little tip. The affirmation for today, yesterday, I'm designed by God for greatness. Today, I am becoming stronger through the changes. You are becoming stronger through the changes. I am becoming stronger through the changes. Do not give in, do not surrender. Keep pushing forward and get rid of that coffee, sugar, and junk, and keep letting your body heal itself from the inside out as you work through this reprogramming phase. Until tomorrow, day three of the Little T Detox, be grateful, have faith, and go get your life.